Hi, my name is Brandy, and I'm the owner and artisan behind Brushed by Brandy. I am a Dixie Belle paint brand ambassador, and I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about the Dixie Belle stain and odor blocking primer called BOSS. So what BOSS stands for is blocks odors, stains, and stops bleed through. And there's a few ways I want to tell you that you can tell if your piece is going to need to have a, a layer of BOSS put under your paint. Um, one of the ways you can tell is just by looking at your piece. Usually the age of the piece will um, be a good indicator. And if your piece has a really dark aged finish like this one here. So I can tell by the age of this and this dark wood that this is probably going to bleed through my paint. So what bleed through is, is it's when the oils, the tannins from the wood can start to seep through your paint and they will discolor your finish. Um, it can happen immediately. It can also happen slowly over time. Um, another good indicator is if you're cleaning your piece and it's wiping dirty, your rags are wiping brown and brown and brown, that can be a good indicator that your piece is not dirty anymore, it's bleeding while you're cleaning it. So this is what a rag can look like when your piece is bleeding. This is from the legs of this piece here. Um, and so I know that this piece is going to need boss. Another way that I can tell is I already have a coat on this and you can do a test coat with your paint and if it starts to discolor right away, then you know that it's gonna need boss. So my paint has started to discolor a little bit in this area here and I know that I'm gonna to need to coat this piece with a coat of boss. Okay, so with my test coat on and I know that this piece is gonna need my coat of boss, um, the next thing I need to decide is what color of boss do I wanna put on? So boss actually comes in three different colors. This example here is the white. This goes on white and it will dry in white as well. It also comes in clear, which looks like white in the package and it will go on looking white, but it actually dries to a really matte clear. And then boss also comes in a gray. So let's talk a little bit about when you would decide to use the white, the clear, and the gray. So as a general rule, if I'm doing extremely light colors like white, light gray, a cream, um, some of the colors in the Dixie Belle fan deck would look like these colors here. I would choose white boss for these. And that's because the white is going to take my dark wood and it's going to take it to a color closer to the finished look that I desire. So when you're choosing your boss, you wanna consider the finished look that you want for your piece. If I'm going for darker colors, anything in this range here, I would wanna go ahead and use my gray boss. The gray is going to be closer to the finished look of these colors here. And so um, gray would be the appropriate primer for that. Um, red is a great example. Reds are notorious for taking more coats than a lot of colors. And gray can really help you get to your finished color with less coats of paint as well. So boss is also a tool that can help you get to your finished result with less coats of paint. If you desire to distress through your paint and see the wood through underneath, then you're gonna to wanna to use your clear boss because that's not gonna leave a color on your piece. So when you distress, you're gonna have a clear finish that's gonna show through to your wood. So white for lights and white colors, the gray for medium to dark colors, and then the clear if you wanna distress through and see the wood underneath. Now that being said, you can't really go wrong with boss. If you use one or the other um, for a different look, there's no problem with it. It may just take you more coats of your paint to get to your final product. Okay, so the instructions for boss say to go ahead and stir your product really well. So I've got a stir stick here and we're gonna go ahead and stir our product really well. We're gonna go ahead and start with the clear. You wanna make sure you stir it really well, pick up all of anything that may have settled um, from the bottom of the container and stir that into your boss so it's nice and mixed. That's gonna give you the full effectiveness of the product. So you wanna go ahead and put on a coat of boss um, it is recommended that you wait 24 hours between coats for them to dry. Two coats are recommended. So after your 24 hours, you would come back and apply your second coat. So Boss does go on really nicely. It is a water-based primer. So you can use your nice Dixie Belle brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dixie Belle Mini and we're gonna test the clear, the white, and the gray Boss on this piece here. So let's go ahead and start with our clear. Okay, you're gonna notice with your clear Boss that when I'm putting this on, it does look a little bit white. And that helps me to be able to see where I've actually applied my product to. But know that when this dries, it's going to dry to a nice clear color. So I can brush this on. I wanna make sure that I brush all the way across my piece. This is the base for my paint. So I'm trying to get as few brush strokes as I can, make sure I'm brushing in all one direction and get full coverage onto my piece because I, I do want this product to block these stains from coming through. Same thing if you're blocking any odors. What Boss does is it creates a barrier um, underneath your paint. So those stains and odors will not seep through into your painted product. It creates, it encapsulates them. 
Okay, so that's my clear section. We'll let that dry for a minute and let's go ahead and apply our white boss. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my Dixie Belle Mini and let's go ahead and put that in the center section here. So the white will go on white and this will dry white as well. So this is what I would use for the white painted finish that I'm doing on this piece here. If you do a coat of boss and you notice that it is discoloring, you can go ahead and apply another coat of your boss until you stop seeing that discoloration in the boss itself. You can also do a test coat of paint and if you notice that your paint is discoloring, then you can go ahead and stop your painting and add a coat of boss right over top of that and it will still serve its purpose to stop that bleed through from coming through on your paint. Okay, so I've got a nice coat of my white there, and now let's go ahead and put some gray over here. This product cleans up with soap and water, so my brushes will clean really nicely. And this actually helps cover this dark wood. So for example, this white finish that I'm doing, this will help me cover this dark wood and get to my white finish. Okay, let's go ahead and let these dry and we will come back and put a second coat on. Okay, I've gone ahead and dried our boss. It's nice and dry now and I can go ahead and put my second coat on. You can see that clear dried nice and clear. My white is slowly turning white and I will need to go ahead and put a second coat for full coverage and that gray has great coverage on it. So let's go ahead and add our second coat onto here. That is my boss after two coats in clear, in white, and in gray. So let's go ahead. Okay, so Dixie Belle Boss is one of those must-haves in your toolbox. It's something that you don't know you need it until you need it, and then you must have it. So um, go ahead and pick up some boss um, if you intend to use any any of the Dixie Belle paint colors and you're worried that odors or bleed through might be an issue with your piece. Um, you can find more Brush by Brandy on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube, and on my website at brushbybrandy.com.